Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Marion, the Inappropriate Artist, and today I am doing something that has nothing to do with art. Well, I won't say nothing to do with art. I'm sure I will capture images along the way. Um, but I saw yesterday that my van had a serious, serious list to the left and checked underneath and took some pictures of what looked like a really big deal to me um, but after messaging those pictures and to my mechanic in Connecticut he amazingly enough got right back to me which I am still so grateful for because it meant I slept last night um, but he messaged me told me what the problem was it's the rear leaf spring shackle that busted um, and I have to find an auto spring repair shop that can do the work uh, as many places in Florida probably don't have torches to deal with the work um, so he suggested that I just go directly to somebody like that um, I did search Miami um, however I didn't read any really good reviews um, and so I've decided that I'm just going to head over to the West Coast, over to Naples, um, and see if I can find something with better reviews over on that side. I'll be driving across the Everglades, and I think, um, since I do have a little bit of time, nobody's going to be open, you know, and if they are, it's going to be... Um, they won't have time to, you know, get the part and everything. Um, so, yeah, that's the deal. I'm going to do that today, and uh, I'll keep you posted as to how it goes and see what images I can capture as I cross the Everglades. Oh, that's my girl. Yes. Oh, those are some serious growls. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right in tune with the airplane coming overhead. <laughs> she sounds just like the airplane. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, I love you, baby girl. My nugget. Made a quick pit stop here to give Nugget a chance to use the litter box. Being that she's in heat, she needs it like every five minutes. <laughs> and I wanted to have a snack. We're on our way through the Everglades. On our way to... I decided to make a stop in Everglades City. I think that sounds like a cool place. I'm going to the Gulf Coast Visitor Center uh, to check things out and see what I can see. It's only an hour, you know, and it's on the way to where I'm going, and I don't see the point in missing out on the opportunity to stop. Um, this is one of the locations that iOverlander suggests that you can stop and stay for a night. Uh, however, it's still too early in the day for me to make that kind of a stop. Um, yeah, but what a cool place driving through here has been pretty incredible. I don't know what I expected, but it's just, you can truly see for miles and miles, although where I am right now, I'm a little low, so can't really see over the grass line or the tree line. I gave you as much of a view as I could to the north, to the south is a little more difficult. There's definitely, you can see, a barrier of trees. Um, so I won't be able to show you that, but it's very cool. I'm really enjoying this. And, and listening to Jimmy Buffett the whole way. <laughs> it is a peaceful drive. And I'm driving across on 41. 
which is I chose it because it's a slower drive and I get to kind of tootle along in the slow lane and enjoy the ride and Nugget is getting into trouble always She's chewing on my snack that I pulled out for myself uh, but get on in and uh, whew. it's a beautiful day not too hot it's like I think it's in the 60s so it feels good to me um, yeah we're just gonna hang out here for a few minutes I really want to give her a chance like I said to use the litter box before I put her back in her carrier all right we'll catch up with you in a little bit Well, I stopped at the visitor center, the Gulf Coast Visitor Center and for the Everglades and decided it was just a little too jam-packed for me. So I just drove around and came back out and I came a little bit of a way down this road and I thought I would try to take a picture. So we'll see if I can. chirping at the birdies? Mm, I know. I know. It's so disappointing, isn't it? Well. <laughs> yeah. We were driving around all morning. Um, as you saw, we stopped at the... Uh, um, on that I think it's oh I can't remember the name of the bay but I put it underneath the images that I took so I can't remember but it was just past the Everglades um, Wow okay so I just ate and I'm still waiting for the food to affect my brain <laughs> The Visitor Center, okay, Gulf Coast Visitor Center for the Everglades National Park, or something like that. Anyway, wow, <laughs> listening to her is killing me. So we pulled over here at McDonald's. I know, I am not usually a big McDonald's fan, but um, really, it was more affordable than anything else, and there's no place on this island where I can pull over and pull out my stove and cook for myself. And I couldn't keep going. I was way too hungry, and so that was the treat I gave myself. It was the opportunity to just be able to pull over, order food, eat it. I know, not the best food in the world, but... Every once in a while, it saves me. Um, and she really needed to get out of her carrier. Poor kid. So from here, I am going to head north to Naples as there is a Cracker Barrel. Still struggling with words. Cracker Barrel, where I can park. Um, I am going to sit here for a little while longer, let my brain come back. I did get an orange juice. So I will suck down that orange juice and that will definitely get my hypoglycemic stuff kicked. <laughs> I 
and my brain can come back and I can think again. I will begin the task of researching and calling places, um, well, if I can, if they're open, calling places for prices on repairing the van. Um, and also looking at reviews to see um, what kind of service people get. You know, it's kind of hard when you're in new places all the time to feel confident about your choices when it comes to a mechanic. All right, onward and upward. Literally going north. <laughs> Oi. I am exhausted. The poor Nugget was locked up in her carrier for most of the day. I mean, I took her out as often as I could so she could go to the bathroom. And every time I stopped to see if I could park somewhere, I made sure she got out. And, well, not outside, but you know out so she could get a bite to eat and go to the bathroom and get a drink of water. But it was a long day of going from place to place to place to find out there was no overnight parking. I finally found a truck stop. I stopped at four Walmarts Two Cracker Barrels, rest area that said only three hour parking. What kind of rest area is that? Um, I went to one truck stop, it was full. Then I got to this one, and it's a Love's. It's clean. Beggars can't be choosers, as my father would say. Or if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. I was thinking that on the way here. I did see a really pretty pink sky today on my way here as the sun was setting. So, I'm going to focus on the pretty pink sky. And I'm going to shut this off, and I'm too tired to even eat. I'm just exhausted. And I'll probably wake up later and have some cheese sticks or something. Hey, you! No, no, none of that! Oh, I hope she doesn't do that all night long. I feel so guilty locking her back up in the carrier because she was in it all day. I want to let her be out, but she pulls on the window covers. No! I'm just already stretching them out of shape. I'm going to have to do something about that. So now they're all saggy. No, no, no! Nugget! Nugget! Please! Oh. So counting down the days till she has her surgery. Nugget, please. She listens to me for like three seconds. And then she does it again. All right. So I better go give her some attention so she stops pulling on the window covers. All right, everybody. I'm going to bed. Catch up with you tomorrow um, after what I hope will be a good night's sleep. Or at least a partially good night's sleep. All right. See you soon. This morning's nugget antics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we just finished her morning combing. And now she's just like going crazy. Well, good morning, everyone. I feel so much better after a good night's rest. <sighs> and I have a lovely 
view out the window this morning at this truck stop in Fort Myers, Florida. Um, headed, I think, to Venice for the day. So I'm going to go put some gas in the tank and empty some garbage and my pee bucket <laughs> or pee jug. I know, but this is, this is the reality of van life, so keeping it real. Um, yeah, so we're going to take care of those things, and we is going to hit the road again. <laughs> she doesn't destroy the place first. This was behind the truck stop that I stayed at, and there are all the trucks. You can see them. This is a wonderful little preserve back here. It's exciting when you find things like that. You just totally unexpected. I didn't see it obviously until this morning. And yeah, my earbuds are in because I'm listening to Yazoo for the drive today. Um, but yeah. This is a beautiful thing to wake up to today after the crazy day I had of driving yesterday. <laughs> and I am absolutely full of gratitude this morning. It's a great day when you wake up. Another glorious sunset. This one is from Venice on the west coast of Florida. This has been a great spot to park. Such a beautiful view for sunset. <sighs> Eventually I'll get my clouds right. <laughs> I would love to capture that light reflection in those clouds. I'm working on it. And just like that, the sun is gone. But look at that gorgeous afterglow. <sighs> this is the name of the park where I am right now struggle is real trying to find a shady spot to park I did park someplace overnight where it was iffy and I was kind of creeped out in the middle of the night I was on the phone with somebody so I felt a little bit better about the situation but this morning the same truck that was stopped last night and checking out the van was passing by in loops so I was like well I best I get moving on um, I'm so nervous about shutting off the engine again and then having to restart it to go to my appointment tomorrow it took four tries this morning anyway to get it started and I just I'm feeling it um, there's like no place to park with shade that I've found yet. <sighs> Taking a deep breath, do some great self affirmations that a friend of mine gave to me to help me through the last stressful period, which was raising money. And by the way, I am so grateful to all the people who contributed to help me with the van repairs. I know, especially now, it is so not easy. And so for those of you who were able to contribute, thank you. And I'm just breathing deep um, that everything goes smoothly tomorrow. Um, but today, 
I need to find us some shade because this girl is going to get roasty toasty and I don't want her getting roasty toasty and I don't want to be roasty toasty. And I just bought ice for the cooler and I don't want it melting sooner than later. Okay, but this is kind of a cool park. I wish there was some shade to park in, but there is not. I'm going to show you these cool crew rowing sculptures they've got out here on the lawn. Aren't these neat? I thought so. I bet they get all lit up and are rowers in motion is what it looks like because they all have a, a secondary shadow sculpture that goes behind them and I feel like it's, it's a moving thing uh, once they turn it on. But even still, they look cool. And this is called Nathan Benderson Park. And it seems like someplace here in just North Fruitvale that um, people can come and do their laps around a man-made lake. All right, I'm headed back. I'm headed to another park in hopes of finding us some shade. Well, we did make our way to a shady spot. However, it's in a Publix parking lot, not a park. Um, that's okay. It is what it is. I'll see if I can't walk along this back edge here on this greenery with Nugget and get her some exercise and get her outside. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it's too much traffic and she doesn't move. <laughs> well. She'll make the decision. I can't sit with the doors open. I am practicing my affirmations as I did shut off the engine. I'm going to have to park here for the day. I think I am going to try my hand at a hotel parking lot tonight. Um, there's one not too far from where the garage is that I'm going to get the work done at. So, in the name of the garage, Action Auto Center. We shall see how that goes. The woman on the phone has been a joy to talk to. Breathing deep. I am tired. I was up very late last night um, on a fabulous phone call, so I really can't complain as to why I was up late. It was wonderful catching up with a friend and just getting to spend some time on the phone with them. Um, we were on for three hours. I know. I have to watch my power, but I needed it, and it was well worth it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So, you know, making those connections. Now, especially when I'm feeling a little bit isolated, right? You know, um, this life definitely has its benefits, and there are definitely downfalls. It's like anything else in life, right? I mean, oh, check out how saggy my window covering's getting back there. Somebody's been pulling on the window covers again. Yeah, so, you know, the, there's benefits and downfalls to this lifestyle, just like any lifestyle. But I still wouldn't trade it. I love my tiny, tiny home. And I love being able to change my scene pretty regularly. So after the van work is done, I have... Another friend of mine whom I'm hoping to meet up with, that would be awesome. We're just playing it by ear, everything, you know, she's with her family and they are vacationing. So if it works out that we get to get together for a little bit, that would be amazing. I would love to see her because they live out in Colorado, so I won't be able to see them until couple years from now. <laughs> Is this going to take me that long to get there? Um, and 
Yeah, because at the rate I'm moving. Slow. Even though I'm a happy tired. I am. Even though this has not been an easy few days as far as parking, the starter being the next thing to need attention. Um, you know, but I think I have enough money to cover both the rear shackle joint. Oh, I'm, I love saying, I don't know, there's something about, <laughs> something about those, that combination of words that cracks me up. It just sounds like something it shouldn't sound like. <laughs> oh, and I'm a little punchy. Yeah, punchy. That's a good word. Um, so the rear shackle joint and my starter. And I'm going to ask them to check all my fluids and all that fun stuff while I'm in there because I might as well. They've, if they've got the van in there, might as well have them check everything just to see that I'm on the up and up. And if I need an oil change, maybe I have enough to take care of that too. That would be nice. So, more positive affirmations ahead. How I'm going to spend my day just repeating them. Um, I do have some more, like I have to finish up the video that's going out tomorrow. I have it mostly edited. I just need to add a couple things to it. Um, I realize that we're sort of missing as I'm just like shooting as much footage as I can as I go and then kind of piecing it together. Um, and yeah, there's a nice cool breeze though, and we are in the shade. So, gratitude list, right? I make my gratitude list and this day will go a heck of a lot easier. All right, everybody, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. And it is, these videos are a week behind where I actually am, but I wanted to show you how this whole thing plays out. I'm still in the unknown, so your guess is as good as mine, um, but stay tuned for the next episode on Sunday, and I don't know if I'm going to have an answer or not when this next video airs so like the video subscribe to the channel that makes a huge difference for nugget and I hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put out a video I really appreciate your support it has been amazing we'll see you next time have a wonderful rest of the day everyone take care bye bye